was a cold dog night, filled with frightening dreams. When the doctor awoke and began to scream, the buck, the buck, I'm bringing him back. Benevolent as ever with a soul so black. If down on that hole is where I gotta go, then I'll goddamn do it. He's the host of the show. Love and Evelyn Buckley Show! I've got a goddamn rash all over my goddamn back. It's on my butt, it's on my balls, it's all over. I've been using my mother's lotion and it's... I mean, kind of. I mean, what isn't? Get out there! I'm just... <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Benevolent Buckley Show. I'm your host, and I've got an extra special guest just for you. Someone with some real talent was able to squeeze some time into their busy schedule. Let's just say the guests so far have been lacking. You'd be surprised on the ideas you could get out of a full blotter, Bassett. Do you understand what the name of your show means? The name of it means I'm evil and nasty. <laughs> Why you say I with me for comment cauldron? What? Boom, 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 boom. No! Cut, 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 cut this, just cut this out. Joe, Joe, this what? is exactly what I'm talking about. Dude, it's already done, it's fine. Do you even know what I'm gonna say? No, I'm not clairvoyant. Joe. Stop looking into the camera like, like the audience knows what's going on inside of your head. <laughs> this, this is a gothic talk show. It's as simple as it gets. Stop being weird. That's why I got the show in the first place. The fans love it. Oh, the fans. What, what is the average? A uh, thousand fans an episode? If my lead-in was on that home shopping dog shit, I'd be doing a lot better. Hey, that show is what's keeping the lights on. Do it again. Ah, fuck it. We got it the first time. Did we get it? We got him falling over in his chair. No! It's already done. Joe, we should do it again. No! Love and Beverly and Buckley Show! Well, this is the show. What's the first segment? Hidden Horror Classics! Hidden Horror Classics! I'm not clowning around! He sounds so scary in the gas! <laughs> Welcome to Hidden Horror Classics! The segment where you, the viewers at home, recommend the horror movies for me to review. First up, it's sick or serial insane clown killer. <laughs> This guy's not in the movie, just so you know. A couple of friends are chased by a killer clown during a weekend in the woods. That's it. That's the actual synopsis from IMDb. What? Nothing, it's just that, uh... <laughs> Scott and I actually have decided to give each other some space. Space? Space is good. So you're gonna come then? This thing's basically unwatchable. I mean, it, it takes a good 60 minutes before you even see a clown. There's a bunch of goddamn baby dolls all over. And you know what? If you buy this version of the DVD, there's goddamn artifacting all over the screen. Goddamn full screen presentation. I don't like it. Look, Brandon, I want you to get in that car and take me home now. Okay. I just think you're overreacting. We need to find my wife now. Okay, Mark. Now, what's wrong? Uh, the acting's all over the place and terrible to even worse. The cinematography, it's basically like a goddamn dog filmed it. I couldn't even sit through this. I had to go take a piss eight times. They claim that the movie being not rated is a special feature, but it says R right on the back. Fucking cunts. Joe, did you even watch the movie? Yes! I actually really like that movie. Do you like Paul Blart too? No. Good. So if you're a fan of killer clowns, terrible special effects, and the acting of Ken Hebert. Mark, will you settle down? We're looking for her. Susan! Then you'll be able to sit through this one. Up next, Ice Queen. Ice Queen. Da 
Dr. Franz Gerber is stolen the archaeological find of the century, a female humanoid from the Ice Age, discovered sealed in a tomb of amber deep in the Amazon forest. A desperate flight with his pirate pilot sends his plane crashing into the snow-covered Killington Mountain. You know what, f*** this. Some frozen bitch crash lands and kills a bunch of stupid teenagers. There's never even a monarch here in America. I don't know why she's called a queen. It's trash. F*** them. Are we done? You gotta give an honest review, Joe. Uh, uh, there are three pairs of tits, and that's all I can watch. Really, you're on TV. You couldn't, you couldn't say it another way. Chest melons. What was your favorite thing about the movie? It eventually ended. Other than the ending. I don't know. Can people say something nice about cancer? It killed my father. It killed my father. Ocean of the day. <laughs> Bottoms up. I'm so thirsty, I can drink a goat! Welcome to Potion of the Day! Today's potion is... The Devil's Drought! Absolutely not, no. Nope, I'm not drinking it. You have to drink no, it. No, no, it looks like there's goddamn brain matter in this. It doesn't look that bad. What do you mean it doesn't look that bad? Look at this! Is there a goddamn bark in this? Well, it kind of looks like dehydrated devil's pee. Oh, well, great, I'm just gonna drink devil piss! That's a good name for it. Well, then you should have called it that! If we called it devil's piss, would you drink it? Today's potion of the day is devil's piss! Bottoms up! No, I'm done with that. Devil's piss. Devil's piss. Devil's piss. Devil's piss. Devil's I'm piss. fucking blind. Creature feature. Today's creature feature is what the fuck. Storm must have killed the power. I'll get some flashlights. Oh yeah, that's going to look amazing. Bunch of flashlights and candles laying an entire set. Great work, everybody. Amazing crew. Joe, just stay here until we get the power back on. Do I just wait back here? Just sit tight, I'll be right back. Joe, where are you going? I'm going to take a shot on Hunter. Hunter, where the fuck are you? Look, what's the plan with this mess? Oh, great. Brad, I bought fucking candles. Just... Just wait until the power comes back on. Look, my guest has to leave in half an hour. Then we'll reschedule. This is the only opening she had. Oh, boo hoo Find another guest. Look, you did me fuck all the work in every single goddamn episode. And then I finally get a decent guest, you fuck me? Oh, fuck me? Fuck you! Burn! All it's gonna take is one phone call to cancel this show. Give me a reason not to make that call. Good luck making him a no power! What is that, Kindle? You get your blobby motherfucking piece of shit ass out there! Interview her in the dark! You know what? All I have is three more episodes and then I'm done with this shit forever. What is wrong with you? It's fucking Tourette's, whatever. It's a really serious condition, Joe. Dr. Erlenmeyer, release the guest! I'm already here. Whatever. We still have to do Sponsor Spotlight. No! The show's already ruined and my guest has to leave, so we're moving on. Okay, whatever. Dr. Erlenmeyer, release the guest! I'm already here. Fuck, I forgot. Special guest! For the viewers at home, Peggy Clydesdale is a Oh, thank God! For the viewers at home, Peggy Clyde. Oh, sorry, you wanted to be introduced as White Trash Peg, right? That's okay, whatever. Uh, for the viewers at home, White Trash Peg is a world renowned artist. She's known from town to town. Both towns. So, Peggy, <laughs> why do you like painting? Um. I'm lazy and I don't want to get a real job. Ah, respectable. Yeah. 
Can you tell us a little bit about your pieces? Um, well, I do uh, portraits, like uh, unusual portraits of people. In fact, I got you a little gift. Oh, I like presents. You do? Ugh. Oh, Merry Christmas. What do you think? Thank you. I love it. <laughs> You're welcome. Good. Because we had this made. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fantastic. What the fuck is that? It's a giant. It's a giant version of, of the little one Peg made. Giant? What is that? She made it for you. It's an homage to you, Joe. No, you need to like it and be appreciative. I don't want that on my wall. Look at what my stone well, nose. No, right. take it off. Take it off. I can't reach that. Find somebody else to do it. Ah, Nathan, take it off. <laughs> my tongue doesn't look like that. Look. Yes, it does. No, yes, it there's does. boils. I can hear you. <laughs> Mm. Thank you, I love it. Oh, you're welcome. So, Peggy, what would you say is the inspiration behind most of your work? Um, oh, I drink a lot. How old were you when you first started painting drawings? I uh, was four or five years old, yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Like finger paint? Mm-hmm. Do you like to finger paint? Mm, no. So Peggy, I was just wondering, um, what do you think might be wrong with me? Because I paint, but I only paint pictures of my mother, like, um, all the time, like every day. I just keep painting her and painting her, and like sometimes she's nude. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> uh, you have a nice bosom. Oh, thank you. What's your mom's like? I mean, you tell me all about it. <laughs> Pretty good. Ah, so Peggy, are you a big fan of Ghostbusters? I see you've got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man on your shirt. Oh, that's Kim Jong-un. I'm a big fan. Well, kind of. Not really. I'm not a fan of his lifestyle, but I'm a fan of, you know, his, like, uh, zest for life. Is he a rapper? <laughs> Which of these three things would make good, uh, good art utensil and why? A human bone? A dissected possum turd? Or a brush with bristles made from hair collected secretly from the floors of public bathrooms? I like the pew brush the best, I think. Yeah, I would pick that one. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta make Let's sure go. there aren't no crabs in it. <laughs> I piss on myself, I don't piss on others. See, look, it's mostly just jeans. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, well, you're shapely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a big turkey leg. There's like, le there's more crying than not most days. <laughs> I can pick you up at 7.30. In the morning? Yeah, I mean, uh, the pancakes are good anytime. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I like a good organ, yes. I mean, yeah. I already had my animal skin <laughs> trombone, but... <laughs> What happened to that? Ah, cat got it. Yeah, 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 you know how they do it. In the dark <laughs> under the blankets. Have you ever tried to strangle anyone with a piece of piano wire? Oh, no, no, I just go out to my backyard and I shovel up a big old spoonful of dirt. Wow. Comet Cauldron. And now it's time to take a dip at the Comet Cauldron. <laughs> Let's see what you viewers have to say online. Fuck, I've been a fan of yours since before the show. I love your program and can't wait to see how the rest of the season pans out. Best low budget horror show ever. Also, your dick is small. <laughs> That's it.
I have nothing to add. <laughs> Did you do this to everybody? Or just me? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>